Hi boys and girls, this is Miss Tahalski. Just going to walk you through a tutorial for your serial collage. Uh, remember, this assignment is based off of the information that we learned about on the artist Michael Albert. He uses everyday materials like the cereal boxes that um, could easily be recycled to create his artwork. And because he's using these everyday materials that we find all in our homes and he's using the advertisements off of them to create different new artwork, he is a pop artist. So um, if you have um, any kind of food products, these are just cereal boxes, the ones that he kind of uses, but I've also got here some um, Danimal smoothie um, yogurts that my kids use. Any kind of food product label um, you can use for this collage. So for the collage, uh, I would suggest getting a back, backing to put all your artwork on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this box and just cut off the back portion of it. Um, I chose this one because I already know that I'm not going to use any of the colors or anything on the back of this box so that it's okay. So um, examine the boxes you have. You're going to kind of want to pre-plan out what kind of artwork you want. Um, taking a look at some of his artwork examples on your assignment page, you can see that sometimes he just takes the front of a um, cereal box or food product box and then cuts it up and then places it or rearranges it uh, just a little bit different. Still that you can recognize what the product is, but just a little different so it's not exactly the way um, it is all put together here. He also takes uh, the food product boxes and then cuts out different pieces and colors to create a whole new picture. So I think um, the one on your assignment example is like of uh, flowers uh, and then he uses the different pieces to get the green colors and stuff like that. So that's what I'm gonna do here on mine. Now before I get started, I am gonna kind of draw out my image here that I wanna create. So I know that I wanna create some snow hills. So I'm just gonna draw those here. And the main reason that I'm drawing it out is because then I know um, where I'm gonna place my pieces after I cut them. And then along my snow hills, I'm gonna have some uh, trees and I'm just going to use this triangular um, shape to show my large uh, evergreen trees. Now, some are big because they're close up and then some are in the background so they're smaller, okay? So it's not perfect, but it's just a general idea of where I want things to go in my picture. So I'm just going to do that, and as I'm creating it, it might change a bit. So um, down here for my snow hills, I am going to be needing some white. So I, um, I have a couple different. You can just use one if you want. But knowing that I want some white, this is kind of the box that I want. So I'm going to be cutting out some of those. You don't have to cut um, pieces that fit exactly but just pieces that um, can kind of be hodgepodge in here. When we're using these smaller pieces and then putting them together, it's also called a mosaic. A mosaic is like where you take those little tile pieces and then um, arrange them together and glue them down. So this is not only a serial collage, but a mosaic collage as well. So I'm going to continue cutting um, out my different pieces to fill in my artwork here. As you can see, I took my time and I was trying to place my pieces into different spots and I rearranged them quite a bit. Um, and then I would measure them and then cut them so they fit into those spots. So once you kind of get an area set up the way you like it, you need to glue it down. I'm gonna take a break right here and finish up the rest of my collage pieces and glue these down and then come back and show you my finished product. As you can see, I have filled in the areas of my serial collage. Again, once I started working with it, I also kind of changed the arrangement from when you first saw it. Um, as you can see, I have lots and lots of scrap. I use my Cinnamon Toast Crunch box. I use some blue from my yogurt um, box. And then I also use the back of my Raisin Bran box, which was purple, to fill in the night sky, and then also at a moon. So um, I filled in all these areas with different shapes and stuff. I even, when I was gluing, you can see that it's come off the side. There are a few pieces that did that, 
Um, it was easier for me to just glue them down and then flip it over and cut my extra off. Um, that way I didn't have to worry too much about it, fitting it. Um, as I was fitting in these pieces, I did have some small gaps here and then cutting smaller triangles. So it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, Michael Albert talks about it being perfectly imperfect. So you are going to have some gaps. Um, you can take your pieces and kind of line them up in these bigger spaces. And then I actually took even a pencil, which I've lost in all of my collage stuff, and then made marks to know where to cut and then fit them back in. So you can see I have a night sky with the moon and then some snow down here. The last part that I wanted to do is I did have some trees in there. I decided just to glue those on top because it was easier for me to fill this. So as you're working, find out what works for you and what's the easiest for you and then do that. Um, I did include some of these fun graphics that are on my cereal boxes. So they're a little bit recognizable. Um, to add the trees, I took the green from my Apple Jacks box and I cut out some triangles. And so the last part for me is just to find um, placement for those triangles, like here and here. Um, because depending on where my trees are, um, there are different sizes to add variety to my um, image and to make it more interesting. The closer your triangles are to you, the bigger they are. And as you cut things smaller, the further back they look. So that was another reason why I cut different sizes to give the illusion of space and add interest. So this is kind of where I like my triangles. So then I'm going to just glue them down. I'm working with liquid glue. If you have that at home, that's the, probably a little bit better to use than the um, glue stick. Otherwise, um, it just holds a little bit better. If you don't have either, you can also try with tape or just making an arrangement and then snapping a photo of it to keep and cherish before recycling all your pieces. A few more. My little guy before he falls off. And this guy. So, I decided to make a new, completely new art scene with my cereal boxes, but you can still see that they come from cereal boxes because of the different lettering and advertisement and characters that are still visible on them. Um, Michael Albert does make some artwork like this. Another option for you to do if this is something that um, is too hard or a little too time tasking for you, um, it did take me about 30, 40 minutes to finish up this collage. So if you have time and you're interested, I encourage you to make a new scene with using the different pieces. Um, something else you could do though, like I mentioned before, was to take just the front of your cereal box. So for instance, this Cinnamon Toast Crunch one, I'm gonna, it's the giant size. My kids really like the cereal, obviously. <laughs> and cut it down. Um, and then just kind of rearrange pieces, but kind of keeping the same look to it, not creating something completely new. So I took another back of a cereal box, or the front. I wasn't going to use this one, so I'm going to use this as my back of my collage to glue all my pieces down. I'm then going to just kind of make um, interesting cuts. Now this is bigger than my back, so I am going to not use all of it. And as you can see, I'm kind of trimming it down. If I want to, I can actually put this right on top so I can kind of see how much I can trim off so that it lines up to be about the same size. That works. And again, nothing's measured or drawn perfectly imperfect using Michael Albert's motto here. Even as I was cutting, it was kind of moving about. All right, 
So now this is kind of where I'm starting and I'm just going to start cutting here and laying it down. Okay, as you can see, I went ahead and just took the front of that Cinnamon Toast Crunch, made some interesting cuts here and there, and then um, filled in my space just by using what I had off of that one box. Uh, it is still recognizable as Cinnamon Toast Crunch from the characters, from the words, but it's rearranged differently. Some of it was stayed in the same place, and then some of it obviously is just mixed and matched. So this would be very much in line with Michael Albert's work of taking um, items in popular culture, um, the recyclable ones such as you know food product labels or old cereal boxes that could be recycled, and then repurposing it for your own work, um, either keeping in line with the product itself and then just rearranging the different elements that you found. I'm gonna be very careful because I didn't glue this down yet. Or, taking the boxes and then recreating a whole different new artwork from it um, using the different pieces. So I cannot wait. I'm so excited to see what you guys come up with. You are so creative and there's so much fun um, from looking at your artworks um, and what you decide to do. So if you have any questions, please reach out, let me know, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks guys.